Tarot Aquarius, this will be your edition of Sexy Heads and Scoop. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell when you would like to be notified when I go live. Aquarius is a friendly reminder we all have male and female energies within us. Although you see genders on the cards, keep in mind their energies. Aquarius, as I'm progressing through the reading, if you find the energy resonates more with the pearls watcher, feel free to swap the energies. Energies are fluid. Aquarius. As I'm progressing with the reading and you find the reading does not resonate with you at all, I strongly encourage you to check out the readings for your rising Venus and moon placements. There's a link to a free natal chart on the about page of my YouTube channel. Donations are appreciated and kindly accepted by way of Cash App or by way of a donations link. And those links can be found in the description box below. Aquarius, there will be an extended for this reading, and that link can also be found in the description box below. Aquarius, I pray you all are well. Thank you for joining me. Uh, this reading is intended to be a general reading for end of March or whenever you find it. It is timeless on the crack because I got the big boy that guy. Ooh, Aquarius, you got somebody scared. Child, I don't know who this Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy is, but you got them scared. They don't know how to approach you. They don't know what to say to you. Like, you got this person walking on eggshells, like, literally, literally, Aquarius. This person is guarding something. They keeping something from you. And they they hurt, too, Aquarius. They're really hurt. I ain't saying you hurt them. I'm just saying they might have did something to put themselves in this space. One good shuffle for the Aquarius. Aquarius loving good people If you scared of them You did something Spirit What do you want to tell the Aquarius What do you want to tell the Aquarius Shit my homie in Aquarius Gun gun Aquarius Your first energy out is The nine of pentacles Do that there do that there do it your second energy out is the Queen of Cups. Aquarius. Aquarius. Third energy out, the Eight of Wands. Okay. So you like, I could do this by myself. You will see what I'm saying. I'll get to that. At the bottom of the deck, the reason for your readings, I know you was doing some soul searching. You had a hermit. Some of you dealing with a Virgo. But Aquarius, I'm hearing that song, Shine a Light on them. Woo! Shine a light on them. Woo! Yeah, child. You have the Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. You have the Six of Wands and this King of Pentacles. Mm. Some of y'all dealing with talks. So, Aquarius, I feel like you recognize something is over. It's over now. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And I feel like you about to, you recognize that this is over. It's, it's slow. It's at a standstill. It's at a halt. And you about to deliver this message right now to whoever this King of Pentacles is. You like, look. Do, do, do. You're going to give him this pinnacle. And this person looking at this pinnacle like, what you want me to do for this? Listen, they don't know what to do. You, but listen, they're not going to show you their feelings. They're not going to show you no feelings. They're not going to give you no reaction. Whatever. But Aquarius, look at you. Bye. So, if they're the king of pentacles and you're the nine of pentacles and you recognize something over, are some of you getting a divorce? Are you some of you breaking up with someone? Because, honey, you single. I'm single. I like to mingle. Independent. You can do it all by yourself. You can have whatever you like. And you looking like... Hmm, looking, that's how she looking at the cardinal. 
What am I going to work on now? I saved all of this money. I'm looking good. My garden is tended to. Okay, everybody else. So let's see why you and this nine of pentacles energy. Because that is you, honey. And you doing some you doing some soul searching right now. And you and you might have saw something. You might have saw something. Shine a light on them. Whoa. Tell me about the nine of pentacles for Aquarius. Why is this nine of pentacles here for Aquarius? Spirit, please and thank bam. Mm -hmm. Yeah, child. At the bottom of the deck, you have abundance. You have flexibility and you have happiness you like you know what so Aquarius let me find so this is you I feel like you try to be flexible you try to see things from different perspectives I feel like you try to change things and I feel like you've just been bending possibly compromising with someone and when it comes to this money, maybe um, there's a joint endeavor you went in with someone financially and you tried to get this person some room. Maybe they owe you this money, you know, for happiness, right? But Aquarius, I'm seeing that whatever it is you're doing, because you're so adaptable, you're going to have happiness in abundance. Yeah. Because, see, you're in this nine of pentacles energy. You have the money. You feel good. Okay, some of you are single or you're moving like you're single. After healing this chaos. This is that tower moment. Some of you are dealing with an Aries or a Scorpio. But I feel like you like, look, I'm tired of going through this drama. I'm tired of knowing not what's coming next. And I'm ready to change this. And I feel like you about to have a conversation. So in the extended, I want to see what this chaos is you're healing. So if you are a member, thank you. If you want to join, the link is in the description box below. Tell me about this chaos, Aquarius. It's healing spirit, please, and thank you. Name. Let's get it popping. Let's get it started in here. Spirit. Aquarius is feeling single. They're happy. They're independent. Okay. They said take them both and leave them right there. Okay, spirit. At the bottom of the deck, you have told you walking away. Walking away, number nine, just like that nine of pentacles. Archangel Uriel, some of you dealing with the Aries, but I, mm, 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 in the sun, some of you dealing with a Leo. So Aquarius, it's like you try to compromise, you try to negotiate, you know, I feel like Aquarius, whatever this is, is toxic, it's toxic. And I feel like, you know, there was some something that was revealed to you. I feel like this sun, that's why I'm here, is shine a light on them. Whoa! I feel like this sun sh shone a light on something that's causing you to walk away. I feel like whatever this is, it angered you. I feel like it caused you, it caused you to make some changes and you have a new beginning. Mm-hmm. And with this healing chaos in the single and independent card, you have woman holding a heart and anxiety. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. But I do see you leveling up going from that eight to that nine. And you are healing because nine and eight is, yeah, 17, which is your number, right, Aquarius? The star. So I feel like, you know, you're healing some sort of drama. You're single. You're independent. You realize you can make it. I'd rather be by myself. I feel like you're working on your, your emotions. I feel like something drained you and it stressed you out. I feel like whatever it is, it wants you to, I shouldn't say it, whomever, because this is clearly a who. Whomever this is, they want you to still work on this with them, okay? I feel like this person in this anxiety is not you. No, it's not. I feel like this you holding the heart, like, look, I'm tired. 
and you giving the heart to somebody like here, tell them, take your heart back. Take your heart back because I don't even want to look at this. I don't even want to give it no more attention. And this person like Aquarius, what do you mean? What do you mean? And you like, you see how bad you done drank me? No, no. I, I'm getting myself together. And somebody just can't believe it. It's the final call. Spirit, why is woman holding the heart and anxiety here? I feel like somebody is stressed out because you feel good and they want to heal this and work on this with you. And you like, no. And you like, how you know it ain't me? Because you the damn nine of pentacles. She feel good. Okay, she feel good. Tell me, mm-hmm. And pay to make it up. You could read heartache over what you no longer had. That's why this person stressed out because Aquarius, I'm telling you, you on your way out. You done had enough. How Papa said, I took all I could stand and we can't stand no more. Aquarius, you have the key at the bottom of, of the deck. Successful outcome to your problems. Bam. You have rainbow. The most difficult part of a situation is over. Okay, can you focus? You have barrel. You feel something is lacking in your life, perhaps money, love, or goals. So whomever this person that's stressing you out, this is why you deciding to become single from that king of pentacles. That's why you recognize that this is over because you delivering this message to this person, okay? Bam. You feel something is lacking in your life. Perhaps love, money, or goals. Whoever this person is, they can't give you what you need. Or they can't, it's something out, they can't give you what you need. They can't meet you on your level. You know, and so now they had this heartache over what they no longer have. Y'all know how I like to drive the point home. Yeah, that's why they stressing. Okay, and I feel like this is you giving them their heart back. Like, no, I don't want this no more. He takes his heart. So let's see what this heartache over what you no longer, because it's not you. This somebody stressing. I'm not saying that you don't have feelings. I'm just saying you drained of your feelings because she pale than the mother lover. Spirit, tell me about heartache over what you no longer have for Aquarius. And we don't look at that and extend it. Tell me about this heartache over what, what this person no longer has. Because this person is stressed out. Tell me about this heart. Okay. And we're going to look at that extended. Now let's get some tarot on this Aquarius. And after this tarot and the extended, I'm going to put some more Oracle, Lenormand, and Kipper on this. And we're going to clarify that all the way out. Spirit. What is this party in this anxiety? Somebody done drained Aquarius and Aquarius had enough. They over it. Tell me about this heartache over because I want to know. Yeah, somebody had a whole nother lover child. Aquarius, you had a ten of cups. Maybe you married to this person, lived with this person, had a family with this person. You had a princess of swords, okay? And I feel like this is you looking at things from another from another perspective. Somebody could have been watching your house. Or could see how the light shining on the ten of cups. I feel like this is you shining light on them. Whoa! You shining the light on this home, this family life. And with this princess of cups, it's like, yo, I want to first start. I want to first start with somebody who's truly my soulmate. Yeah. So now you're ready to take a risk. And whatever this leap of faith is, risk, some of y'all done with Aries, others of you are done with the Libra Taurus. It's taking you right into this Empress mode. Okay. And Aquarius, this is you. You like, look, you got your hand up. Look, 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 look. 
You facing this truth. You ready to lift that sword and yield that sword and cut something off. You like, you won't touch my money. I'm tired. I'm, I'm not. I'm tired. I'm tired. You take too much risk with the money. You just take too much risk with... No, I don't deserve this. No. Back off. Back off. Mm -hmm. That's you. You the star in there. Some of y'all, y'all got somebody watching y'all like a hawk, too. Just all up over you. Want to keep you contained and shit. Aquarius, you got the six of swords. Yeah, because you moving on. You going to a place of peace. You leaving the five of swords behind. You like, what that mean? You leaving the mind games behind, the manipulation behind, the sabotaging ways behind. You like, I don't want no part of that. Yeah, you moving right on to another level. Mm hmm? Yeah, you moving on to another level. Aquarius, don't lie to me. Some of y'all dealing with Gemini. But for some of you Aquariuses, and it could be and, or, but I feel like Aquarius, you moving on to another lover. I also feel like you moving on because your person had another lover. And this is the choice you make. But this Six of Swords going right into this lover. Some of y'all done with Gemini. And with this Queen of Cups energy, I feel like this was the third party. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. I think that's you. I feel like that somebody got heartache over what they no longer have. I feel like they lost you and you being single and this person might have to move with their lover, if they, especially if they was in your house with this ten of cups. Mm -hmm. And this is energy. Energy is neither created nor destroyed. It could change states. So, you know, y'all can stop this if y'all want to, but I feel like somebody making a move out of desperation. Now, Aquarius, this Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Energy, they like, why you here? What you come here for? This is also you searching your emotions, okay? Because there's a change happening here. But I really feel like this is another energy. Whoever this is doing is moving on. There's a change here. So we're going to see what this is about. Tell me about this female energy searching their emotions. Because the Queen of Cups could sometimes be my side. As well as my Queen of Wands. I'm just saying. Tell me about this Queen of Cups and change. Tell me about this Queen of Cups and change for Aquarius. Tell me about this. So I'm not going to really say that's you yet. I don't think so. I can keep it all the way at honey. And there's some financial constraints here. Yeah, something is ended. It's transformed. And... For some of y'all, this person, wherever they going, ain't got no money to put to the bring to the table. You like sexy. You so harsh. Look, you want me to lie to you? It's your rainbow, sunshine, unicorn person. I'm like a dress the elephant in the room person. So man, tell me about the financial constraints. I really don't feel like this. Tell me about the financial constraints. Mm -hmm. Broken bridge. Successful outcome to a problem. So I feel like once you end whatever this is, with 13 being it, oh, I'm sorry, unsuccessful outcome to a problem. So I feel like, I'm telling you, I feel like whoever this is that got to move on that you no longer dealing with, they don't have no money. At the bottom of the deck, you have angel, parent, and whale. You know, this is your energy. You have angel. Spiritual guidance. Spiritual guidance, protection from harm. You have parents. Someone will gossip about all your secrets. So, Aquarius, you protected from somebody's talk. 
somebody telling you business Aquarius and you have well don't even worry about it great worry over nothing great worry over nothing don't even worry about it what they gonna say that Aquarius dumped me because I wasn't doing my part what are they gonna say so in the extended because I really don't feel like this shit energy you are nine of pentacles nine of pentacles ain't broke Tell me about this, somebody searching their emotions, they like, it's a change here, and they like, what you mean you ain't got no money? What happened? What you mean you couldn't work that out? Tell me about this financial constraints with this unsuccessful outcome to a problem. So we gonna see what that is in the extended. Tell me about this financial constraints and this unsuccessful outcome to a problem. Because this not you. It's something, I'm telling you, I really don't feel like this you. So in the extended, we're going to get specific with that spirit. If there's a queen of cups here, and there's a change, and this queen of cups is looking like, what do you mean you want to change things? She ain't going to look happy about this change. She like, looking at that cup like, you ain't got no money. Will they work out? Tell me about this financial because Child. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Princess of Swords. Shine a light on them. Whoa, who this player? This Sagittarius and the Four of Swords. See, that one sword and this four swords is five swords. That's what you're leaving behind. Okay? You like, look, you was you playing enough mind games. You done manipulated me enough. I caught you cheating. You might catch somebody cheating or you caught somebody cheating. Shine a light on them. Whoa, shine a light on them. Aquarius, but you like. <laughs> See, this, this, so this ace of cups. I feel like your person, listen, I'm just being honest for whoever this is for. It's taking this cup, giving it to this queen of cups. And she like, you ain't got no money. Because they trying to juggle. They trying to balance their life out. But whoever this was, they not fair. It wasn't equal give and take. And with this hermit. Somebody took some time to think about this. Do some soul searching. And Aquarius, we ain't going to even play no games. You got your eye on somebody. Yes, you do. But some of you, you want to break up with somebody and get with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. I said what I said. Now, buddies. You had an eight of wands. The eight of wands. There's some fast moving energy here, Aquarius. These are messages going back and forth. That's for building an opportunity to you, but you don't see it coming. You don't. It's dark outside. It's dark. That moon ain't even full. So you don't even know these opportunities are headed your way. Spirit, tell me about these opportunities that's coming in quickly. Because the Eight of Wands is a fast moving energy. Tell me about this eight, these messages, these opportunities. This is opportunity after opportunity after opportunity after opportunity after opportunity. As it's eight opportunities. Thank you. And we're gonna see what that is in the extended. But you don't see it coming. No, no, no. You know I'm a futuristic reader. I keep telling people that. I don't know. Yeah. And these opportunities is coming in real fast. Like, man, 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 man. It's your daughter personal healing and happiness. Yes. Daughter personal healing and happiness. Because you walked away from something. Because the sun card shine a light art. So, you know, this is your door to personal healing and happiness. If there's a lot of opportunities that's coming in and you don't see it coming, honey. 
Tell me about this door to personal. I feel like you feel like you've been trapped or something. Tell me about this door to personal healing and happiness. Tell me about this door to personal healing and happiness. Tell me about this door to personal healing and happiness for Aquarius. Tell me about this door to personal healing and happiness for Aquarius. All right, there we go. You gonna overcome these obstacles. Hills. Yeah. Obstacles to overcome. But you're gonna be victorious over this. Because you worked on your stability and this is what you're thinking about. Because I feel like Aquarius. Ooh. These boots are made for walking. And just that then that's just what they'll do. And one of these days these boots are gonna walk all over you. You're gonna increase your efforts. Cause there's some goal you wanna achieve. Because in relation to your purse, your purse, pay attention to your finances. You know, there's a dog that's close up. You got a close friend that kind of like pulls your coat possibly about this money. Pleasure with a close friend. And then there's this dog that's far away. A distance friend is thinking of you. So Aquarius, yeah, I feel like you got two people. I said what I said. No, your person probably did it first. And if you don't have this person, this person is at a distance and they thinking of you. They thinking of you. So you got dog close up and dog far away. And this ain't no brand new deck. I had this deck for two years. I know you see people just using it. It's just I had so many decks, so I pull them out when I feel like it. So it ain't even like this a brand new deck and that's why they close. No. And anybody that owns the tea leaves card know there's 200 cup. I'm just saying. So there's a, you're thinking about your, your healing, your happiness, and how you overcame these obstacles. Because you don't see that you got opportunity after opportunity after opportunity. Spirit, you're saying Aquarius is healing. And there's happiness here that they're thinking about and how to overcome these obstacles. But I see you being victorious in this because you don't see the opportunity. That moon not cool. Tell me about this door to personal healing and happiness and overcoming these obstacles for Aquarius. And then extend it. We're going to see exactly what that is. So let me pull some tarot. <clears throat> Spirit. There's quick movement for some opportunities that Aquarius is not see coming. Aquarius is thinking about their happiness and how to overcome these obstacles. What can you tell Aquarius about this? They go to decision. They go to decision. This seven of pentacles almost want to go in reverse like I ain't giving to this no more. I think I should leave that card just like that. At the bottom, here go that eight of wands. Here you go, this queen of wands. This is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. This is your confidence. This you going out. This you making love between the sheets. Do, 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 do. Aquarius. This is you knowing your worth like look. Here come the high stepper. That is what I said. She's stepping high. She got that sunflower in her hand, so she's happy. I mean, some of y'all going to a tropical island. I don't know what that's about. But I feel like it's going to be a lot of making love between the sheets. But Aquarius, you're so confident. And you're in this energy of abundance. And this is why these opportunities are coming into you. But here go this Nine of Pentacles. Just watching. Watching the glue up. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, energy. Because this stop. You gave them back the pentacle, and now they got it by their side. Yeah, they got it by their side. What they doing with this damn pentacle? Oh. 
So the Eagle of the Sun, some of you dealing with the Leo and the Emperor, that's Aries and Taurus is energy. Somebody never realized that I tried to control something. I held my back. I so held myself back from this Princess of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. So there's the first start here. But notice how this person don't have the all the information. This person got all the information. And they coming into this Princess of Cups. This is the first start they trying to start trying to start. Like this come from me. I'm telling you, this person. This person is also intuitive. And they know why this person coming in so fast. Because they want to break. And they hurt. In relation to this two of cups. Which is you Aquarius. You like love don't live here no more. Listen, 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 listen. I ain't new to this. I'm true to this. Hey, Aquarius. <clears throat> so there's going to be a, you got all these opportunities coming in that you don't see coming. It's your door to personal healing and happiness. You're going to overcome these obstacles because you use this sword to suffer something with this ace of swords. This is truth and clarity being spoken with justice. Some of you are dealing with a Libra. You like, look, for some of you using the sword to say, this ain't fair, I'm cutting it off. For some of you using the sword to have a truthful conversation about making a decision, maybe we should get a divorce. Because this seven of pentacles, I ain't waiting. I don't want to invest in this no more. I feel like this seven of pentacles was on his way to do this. Ooh, ain't nothing else here. And I feel like you halfway there. I feel like you halfway there. Like, no, I don't know if I want to keep giving to this. So, let me get you some advice. And in the extended, I, play, I also clarify the advice out. Oh, we get deep. Favorite, what advice do you have for Aquarius regarding this reading? I feel like this the energy you in, you doing some soul searching. and the, But I feel like you almost about to make this decision. I feel like you want to be in this nine of pentacles energy. Like, I, I'd rather be by myself. And you like, I'm walking away with all my money. What advice do you have for Aquarius regarding this reading? Like, can you pay to make it up? Favorite, what advice do you have for Aquarius regarding this reading? What advice do you have for Aquarius regarding this reading? Spirit, what advice do you have for Aquarius regarding this reading? What advice do you have for Aquarius regarding this reading? What advice do you have for... Thank you. Aquarius, this was a learning experience for, for you. You did your soul search, and I feel like you see things exactly for what they are, and you're ready. What you're ready to do is shine. Shine a light on them. Whoa. Some of y'all dealing with a Leo. you like, look, it's my turn. It's all about me right now. I'm ready to have a good time. I'm single. I like to mingle. Like, I just keep hearing those songs. Aquarius, you have earth and ground. Some of you are dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. I feel like you're balanced. You're in alignment with your soul's assignment. And I feel like for you, you like, look, sexy, it's the perfect time. Spirit like, look, it's a perfect time. It's a perfect time for you to tune to the divine. Some of y'all dealing with the Pisces. It's a perfect time for you to tune to the divine. I feel like Spirit has been giving you messages about the timing of something because that looks like an hourglass, okay? And you real, real life seem like you're ready. Yeah, you ready. You ready to go all the way through with this plan of Letting go. That's what I'm hearing, child. I don't even want to lie to you because you ready to party and party and 
Aquarius, and it's getting warm too. I heard that for somebody. Maybe that's why you're on tropical island. Aquarius, you have ease and grace, ease and grace. I feel like that, you know, you pour me your emotions out for this person. I don't mean like pouring them out to them. I mean you pouring out for them. I feel like you just kept giving and giving and giving. You know what I mean? But Aquarius, I feel like you have faith. You have faith that you can handle this in a in a graceful manner. Like you're not gonna be rude about it, cause you need a break with take a breather. Some of you dealing with cancer, or this is involving your home, your family life, and I feel like you know, um, you might wonder, well, will this person forgive me? Well, if you have faith, they'll forgive you. You know, it could be balanced. You know, I really don't feel like that should be a concern, Aquarius. I feel like your main concern should be how. How do you feel? Because we're responsible for self, and I'm not telling you to throw serious matters on the back burner and things like that. You know what it is you need to do. But I'm just saying, seems like you're ready. Don't walk the way. I don't know. Somebody pissed you off. Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. This has been your edition of Sexy Heads of Scoop. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell, Aquarius. If you would like to be notified the next time I go online or upload a video, peace, Aquarius. See you in the extended. Sexy Tarot. Oh. Yeah, it depends on who the card chooses. Leaving emotional bruises, huh? Yeah, and when the truth comes out, I know these suckers are clueless. So better watch your mouth because she really do this. And no need